Hey, can you speak up? I just ate an entire pizza. That's because after eating a hearty meal, our hearing tends to be a bit less sharp. During digestion, most of our bloodstream is directed toward the stomach, which takes away a bit from all the other organs. So, next time you want to go listen to your favorite band at a live concert, make sure to eat a lighter meal to keep your ears pitch perfect. On top of our stomach and left kidney, we have a magical organ that can grow back if we remove a part of it. Our liver can regenerate itself by making new cells called heptocytes. They begin to multiply once the liver is damaged. The seriousness of that damage defines if it can regenerate completely and the amount of time it takes to do so. Ever wondered what's worse for your body? No sleep or no food? Turns out, the lack of sleep is more dangerous. That's because if you don't rest, your body becomes exposed to a lot more risks. After 24 hours without any shut-eye, you can start to have memory problems and find it difficult to concentrate. At just 17 hours without sleep, you start to feel tired and groggy, irritable, tense, and more emotional. Ah! I need a nap. Your pain receptors also become more sensitive, which means everything hurts a bit more than it should. Oh, and it also affects your hearing, too. What? On the other hand, you can be well into your 24-hour period with no food before your body realizes you've stopped eating. In the first 8 hours, you just keep digesting the last meals you had. After those first hours, you start to use stored fats for energy. Not eating for more than 24 hours means that your body will start eating away at its own protein, which means you literally start to lose muscle. Rainwater isn't always safe to drink. It can sometimes hold harmful bacteria and viruses. Also, in heavily polluted locations, it may even meet other harmful materials. Some communities out there do depend solely on rainwater as their primary source of hydration. But does rainwater have any other health benefits? Not really, according to current studies. Some of those risky substances may be removed from rainwater if you boil it. But it's best to stick to the safer side and only drink water from sources that are 100% safe for human consumption. Now, we produce sweat mostly to regulate our body temperature and for some added moisture, like the one we need in the palms of our hands for a better grip. But sweat doesn't just show up on our skin. It comes out of around 5 million pores on our bodies. We're literally stepping on a quarter of our bones each day. We have just over 200 bones in our body, but about a quarter of those are in a very small surprising area – our feet. Since we have 26 bones in each foot, we end up with literally 52 in both. Now, our eyes produce tears for many reasons, like protecting themselves from infection or clearing up debris, such as smoke and dust, or when your baby done you wrong. But the number of tears we produce is quite surprising – up to 30 gallons per year. That's almost enough to fill a bathtub. Wow, that is heartbreaking. Our blood pressure wakes up hours before we do. That's because in the morning, the body produces a bunch of hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline. They help give us the energy boost we need during our morning hours, but they also increase our blood pressure, which is usually higher between 6 a.m. and noon. During the night, since we should technically sleep and perform no physical activity, our blood pressure drops down by up to 20%. Speaking of our vital fluid, our blood accounts for about 10% of our total body weight. We tend to think of our body weight as being mostly made up of muscles, fat stores, and bones. But there's a lot more to it. In a fit adult person, bones make up 15% of the total body weight. About 40-45% to is left to muscles, about 15% to fat deposits, and the rest are stuff like skin, tendons, hair, and other yucky things. Let's see. That adds up to… yep, 100%. Your lungs aren't twins, they're siblings. That's because they aren't the same size or shape. Your right lung is bigger and tends to weigh more, and your heart is to blame for it since your ticker tilts to the left a little bit. This creates a small indentation in the left lung called the cardiac impression, which is also what funny heart doctors do at comedy clubs. The right lung may be bigger, but it's a bit shorter since it needs to make room for the liver. Doesn't your house have a liver room? 
Many of your body measurements are quite symmetrical in surprising ways. If you were to stretch out both of your arms, your wingspan, and measure it, it should show how tall you are. Based on these similar measurements, specialists can even produce theories about what ancient humans used to look like. Looks like we've evolved to be increasingly symmetrical to appear more attractive and healthier to attract mates. Hmm. More so, since we've evolved to also walk on two legs, our symmetrical features help us to move around with the least amount of energy because it creates balance. Now, humans aren't natural champions when it comes to the scent of smell, that's for sure. But our noses can pick up about 1 trillion different scents. Scientists are still performing research on this subject and believe the number may be even higher. Some dog breeds may be able to notice scents somewhere between 10,000 and 100,000 times better than we do, but turns out the best nose in the animal kingdom may be attributed to the elephant because of its staggering number and type of olfactory receptor genes, over 10,000, while humans and chimpanzees have less than 400. We tend to look at our pinkies as our most delicate fingers, but we do have more power in them than we think. Turns out that should our pinky finger be lost or affected, the overall strength of our grip may decrease by up to 33%. The liquid in our stomach, made of hydrochloric acid, potassium chloride, and sodium chloride, is way more powerful than any acidic food you can think of, like lemons, pineapples, or tomatoes. The pH of healthy stomach acid should be between 1 and 3. So if you think about it, it's just below that of battery acid. Our hair strands are strong too. So strong that research is performed on them to duplicate their resistance into human-made materials. A healthy head of hair should be able to withstand up to 26,000 pounds. It's due to a little protein in the hair strand called keratin which you can also find in your nails and skin. Now, only about one-third of us humans have perfect vision. There are a lot more glasses and contacts out there than you'd think, making up about 66%. Apart from different eye conditions, our vision also gets worse with age. When we're born, our heads amount to one-quarter of our total length. By the time we reach 25, our head will only be one-eighth of it. That's because our heads won't change their size a lot as we grow older, as opposed to the rest of our body, mostly when it comes to the legs and torso. Our brains are these super-powerful computers, and a single human brain cell can hold five times as much information as the entire Encyclopedia Britannica. Maybe you remember that. We've yet to pinpoint the exact amount of data it can support, but in electronic terms, the storage capacity of the brain is around 2,500 terabytes. For comparison, the National Archives of Britain, which keeps over 900 years of history, only takes up 70 terabytes. It's probably the reason our brains need the most amount of oxygen compared to other organs. About 20% of the total oxygen that enters the bloodstream And that's despite the fact that it makes up only 2% of our body mass. Our normal activities, plus the effect of gravity, make the cartilage in our ankles, knees, hips, back, and neck slowly compress. Once you rest overnight, the cartilage goes back to normal. On average, you are somewhere around 0.4 inches taller in the morning than you are later at night. And that's why they call me Stretch. Some people even see colors as letters and numbers, or hear them. Those who live closer to the Arctic Circle can name different shades of snow, because that's what they see all the time. To others, it's just white. Some languages only have general names for colors. For example, dark stands for cool hues like black, blue, and green. Colors like white, red, orange, and yellow are all called warm. Your eye processes more variations of warmer colors than cooler ones. There's a tribe in Australia who describes texture, the function of an object, and how it feels instead of its color. They don't have any names for colors at all. The Kandoshi, who live on the banks of the Amazon River in Peru, don't have a word that would describe the very concept of color. Instead, the name of some yellow bird will be used to describe the yellow color. Any ripe fruit will stand for red. 
and unripe fruit for dark green. A lot of people lose their ability to perceive some colors as they get older. By around the age of 70, their eye lenses become yellowish. This natural yellow filter they look through doesn't let them tell blue from purple and yellow from green. Half of your brain is hardwired to process visual information. A much smaller part is left to perceive flavor. That's why the color of food or drink can boost or curb your appetite. You'll always choose the reddest apple because your brain perceives it as the sweetest and ripest. There are no naturally blue foods, so you're least attracted to them and can even fear them. That's why installing a blue light in your fridge or eating from blue plates is a great way to eat less. You'll always choose brighter foods and vegetables because they're associated with a richer flavor. Eating them makes you feel healthier and happier. Yellow can boost your appetite as you associate it with energy and excitement. White can trick you into eating more and paying less attention to what you're munching on. That's because white food seems more harmless in terms of calories. If you eat from a white plate, you're more likely to overeat as it makes your food look brighter. Your brain also remembers the color of food wrapping. If you put salt and vinegar chips into a cheese and onion package, you might not even notice the difference in flavor while snacking on them. Food companies know that you'll eat more of whatever they're selling when it comes in different colors and flavors. Red gives you courage and strength for physical work. Yellow makes you happier and more productive and confident. Green brings balance and harmony to the office environment. Your eyes also love this color. They don't need time to adjust to it. Orange gives you a sense of comfort and warmth, so it's perfect for an office lounge. Birds, fish, and many mammals see the entire color spectrum in all its glory, just like humans. For some animals, good color vision is crucial. Without it, they won't tell ripe fruit from unripe green fruit. Whenever we yawn, we use the muscles in our mouth and tongue, and the contact can squeeze some of the saliva-producing glands. As a result, we might squirt a tiny stream of saliva without even noticing it. I had a friend in college who could do it at will. It was impressive. It turns out that saliva is basically filtered blood. Blood is processed thanks to special glands, and special cells absorb its properties. After that, the blood becomes saliva. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. Yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Most scientists agree that tears that appear out of emotion are a unique human feature. No other animal is capable of crying because of sadness or joy. The pupils narrow and expand in order to control the incoming light. If there's a lot of light, they narrow the passage for light so as not to harm the vision. In the dark, the pupils expand to capture as much light as possible. The tongue has a lot of muscles, and some of them can strain only when you're learning a new language. A human bite almost always becomes infected because of all the bacteria that live in our mouth. In this sense, we're quite close to hyenas. Your bones are designed to be used a lot daily, and some of them can absorb two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still stays one of the dirtiest parts of the human body. Ugh! Millions of bacteria live inside it. The good news is that most of these bacteria are good for the body and protect it from bad bacteria and viruses. In the morning, you're taller than in the evening. While sleeping, you're no longer affected by the force of gravity and your spine stretches. Too bad you become shorter by daytime, though. A roller coaster actually tosses your organs around, so you feel like your stomach's falling down. It's actually flipping inside your body. You think your fingerprints are the only unique thing in your body? Well, they're not. Your tongue print and your smell are also one of a kind. If anyone sniffs you, it's reason enough to get suspicious. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, boy, that would hurt, but it would go around the earth more than twice. 
an impressive feat that you wouldn't see because, well, you can't live without your blood vessels. Toothache and headache are linked together thanks to the trigeminal nerve. It goes through the jaw right to the head, so that when you feel tooth pain, it usually goes hand in hand with that in your head. You lose calories doing literally anything. A healthy 8-hour sleep, for example, makes you lose up to 800 calories. And yes, you spend energy even while eating. A person can go without food for more than 20 days. However, if you don't sleep for 10 days, your body will simply stop functioning. Talking about sleep, the average person forgets 90% of their dreams. And maybe that's a good thing. Otherwise, imagine how crazy the world would have been. The color of your dreams is affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If you're of an older generation that watched black and white TV, you'll see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams will also be colorful. Out of every 10,000 people on Earth, one person has their organs mirrored or reversed from their usual and customary positions. That is, their liver would be larger on the left side and the kidney would be a bit superior to the left one. People with light-colored eyes, blue or green, are better at tolerating pain than those with dark eyes. Scientists think it might be related to melanin that affects the color of the eyes. The length of your foot is similar to that of your forearm. Don't believe me? Go check. I'll wait right here. Nah. We have seven major holes in our bodies. Our mouths, our ears, nose, eyes, and our, you know, down under. Hey, we're Australian. G'day, Mike. We're also a Taurus, if you dig geometry. A human ring, a donut, a life buoy, or even a bagel. Mmm, bagel. Don't forget the schmear. Seriously, counting the pores in your skin and the rest, there'd be millions of holes though. Trillions more likely. Holy cow, we're holy! Bodies throw thermal radiation off as a tiny amount of light. This light is 1,000 times less visible than normal light, so you're not a torch yet. Breathe in deep through your nose. Air only goes up one nostril at a time. And our nostrils take turns at it. Sharing is caring. Our brains tell us when our bodies hurt, but they can't feel pain themselves. There are no pain receptors in the brain. That feeling of your stomach rising is what actually happens. Hold on. Every human has a unique smell except for identical twins. They share the same DNA and the same smell. Our fingerprints aren't just for identifying us to the police if we've done something wrong. The ridges allow our skin to stretch to prevent damage and improve our sense of touch. When you're scared, you can become a lot stronger than you were before. Maybe not lift a car strong, but you won't feel pain or fatigue as quickly. From a banana-peeling robot to a joystick-controlled robotic surgeon, here are some of the latest unique technological inventions. Now, the first invention is the human washing machine. I mean, technically, everyone can be a washing machine when they wash clothes, but this device washes you. The Japanese tech company recently declared that they have plans to produce a washing machine for humans. Wow, just imagine the spin cycle. Yikes! It turns out that this idea dates back to the 1970 Osaka Expo. Back then, it featured a device named Ultrasonic Bath by another company. This machine was designed to massage and dry a person in a 15-minute cycle. It remained a concept at that time. But now, another company aims to turn it into a thing. They want to release a commercial product in 2025. This product will clean the body of the user. It has other features, too. For instance, it'll be a healing space where the user can relax with music and images inside the machine. Sensors will examine the condition of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves, and AI will use this data to create the ultimate comfort zone for the user. Would you buy that device? Let's stay in Japan for a little longer and take a look at these sleeping pods at Japan railway stations. The capsules are designed for people who want to take a nap or work. It's hard to lie down on regular seats at the station, and there's always a risk that someone could grab your stuff if you fall asleep. For 23 bucks, you can have your own small space for two hours. What do you get? A reclining chair, a table, power outlets, and a coffee machine. The place has a lock and it's soundproof, 
which is great considering you're in the middle of a busy station. Hand sanitizer and fans are also available at the pod. If you're traveling with other people, you have another option to choose from. A different cabinet offers a place for up to four people. It has two sets of couches, a table in the middle, and a monitor on the wall. Moving on to the oceans. We know that coral reefs are a crucial part of ocean ecosystems, and they're in danger. To keep the remaining reefs and restore them, conservationists are using 3D printers to make artificial reefs. They begin by examining the reef to understand its characteristics. They do this to replicate the reef as accurately as possible. Then they print the reefs using a certain type of clay. 3D printers generally use types of plastic. But obviously, plastic wouldn't work replicating coral reefs. This is cool and beneficial, considering that reefs make up to 1% of the Earth's surface. Yet they're the ones to maintain the highest level of marine diversity in the world. Now this one is a VR system that moves your body for you. This invention could change the way people experience VR and AR. Researchers put pads under the person's neck muscles. They use electrical muscle stimulation to take control of the person's body and move it. Not the full control, though. The player won't turn into a puppet controlled by the researchers. For instance, in a fire safety demonstration, the pads were used to lead the player's eye line toward the location of the live fire. The technology acknowledges the player's movements in real time. It only initiates an involuntary move when the player does not activate their muscles. This means that there's no injury risk from a triggered motion. It feels like the future technology is here to stay. Now let's assume you're driving and open to the map from your phone to get to your destination. You might easily get distracted while driving. New systems can solve this problem. iLights is an example of this system. It's a concept technology that operates a holograph. You would look at a real screen to display info, like maps or vital stats of the vehicle. With this system, you can look at the road since the holograph is also on the windshield. You can wave your hand to control the system. Goodbye to touch interfaces. Vacuum cleaner robots and other technologies to tidy our houses are on the rise. But what about the cleanliness of the places out of sight, like your bed? Well, let me introduce you to this bot. This small cleaning robot disinfects the surface with UV lights. It sanitizes your bed from all the germs you don't want to live with. Plus, it weighs less than half a pound. You can take it with you when you, let's say, go away and stay at a hotel. According to a study, a pillowcase and sheets used for a week contain 3 to 5 million microbial cells per square inch. By the fourth week, this number reaches almost 12 million, so buying one of these products can be considerable. But really, guy, you should change your bed more often than once a month. Ew. The next one is a joystick-controlled robotic surgeon. When someone has a stroke or aneurysm, they should be seen by a doctor in a golden hour. Then damage can be treated without lasting consequences. Yet few doctors are specialized in this field. It takes years to become proficient in these operations. These expert doctors are mostly in big cities. Engineers at MIT have noticed this and develop a telerobotic surgical system. The system has a modified joystick. Surgeons can use it and conduct operations remotely. What they had in mind was to set up this system at hospitals around the country and the world. In that way, trained surgeons can perform surgeries from far away. Have you ever driven on solar roadways? The name is pretty self-explanatory. Engineers pave roads or sidewalks with solar wafers. They're protected under thick layers of strong, special glass. These panels are used to generate electricity from the surface. Now, these panels have even more advantages. They can gather heat to melt the snow in the winter. They can also be programmed electronically to display intended markings on the road. Hmm, banana peeling robot. You might think this is a waste of time and money for researchers to spend. It's easy to peel a banana, right? But for robots, this is actually a challenging task because it requires finesse and spatial awareness. Bananas come in assorted sizes and shapes. Since there's no fixed product, robots can't repeat the same motion to all bananas repeatedly. Scientists use AI deep learning 
so that robots can mimic human movements. People know where the robot is and where to grasp it. A robot needs to learn these. So far, robots are 50% successful in doing so, despite their advanced machine learning. Flying vehicles used to be no more than futuristic dreams, but not anymore. SkyDrive is making a prototype. It'll be quiet, compact, and emission-free. They aim to introduce it as an air taxi soon. It can carry up to 1,100 pounds at 62 miles per hour. This would change our lives in dealing from health emergencies to delivery of products and people. Finding clean water can be a grueling task when you're in a deserted place. Handheld filters got your back now. LifeStraw, for instance, allows you to get water from a running stream without worrying about impurities. Geopress is another product that has a special filter. It removes harmful heavy metals, bacteria, and other stuff. Researchers developed the first living robots, as they declared. These robots are called xenobots. They're made from the stem cells of a frog heart and frog skin. These robots are super tiny, like smaller than half an inch. Sometimes engineers work on cute and less groundbreaking stuff, too. This is a model of a cat robot. It can nibble on the user's fingertip. The idea is to lighten the user's mood with this pleasing sensation. Amagami ham ham, this is the name of the stuffed robot, has an algorithm called a hamgorithm. It has various nibbling patterns, and the devices pick it randomly for you. It'll be a surprise for you. You might feel a tasting nibble or a massaging nibble. Hey, as long as the robot cat has no cat teeth, I'm okay with the nibbling thing. Now, feel free to let me know about other cool tech inventions. Bye! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.